welcome you all today we are going to take some questions from problem set uh, of chapter number 1 linear equations in two variables okay so let us begin here i have already written one question this question is from problem set 1 now as you see the variables are given uh, in the denominator position so first of all uh, we will do one thing we are uh, we are going to write down the equations in a different way how see uh, this equation can be written as 2 1 by x plus 2 by 3 1 by y is equal to 1 by 6 so the second equation can be written as 3 1 by x plus 2 1 by y is equals to zero. ये equations ऐसा लिखने के क्या वजह है? ये equations मैंने ऐसे इसलिए लिखे क्योंकि जो इसके पहले videos में जो मैंने इस तरह के problem solve किए थे, वहाँ पे बहुत से बच्चों ने comment ये किया कि sir ये कैसे? Two by x है फिर आप one by x is equal to कैसे क्या substitute करते हो? So okay, so that is the reason why I am writing the equations in this way. Now as you see one by x. Now There is no change between two by x and two into one by x. One and the same thing because two ones are two and two by x means the same thing. The use ऐसा करने का हमारे हमें उपयोग ये है इसका करने का कितना use है हमें कि हम directly जब हम put करते हैं when we say that one by x is equals to m and one by y is equals to n हमें direct दिखता है कि कहाँ पे m डालना है कहाँ पे n डालना है, so this is slightly a different way. लेकिन ये करना जरूरी नहीं है. Board के exam में this is not expected from you. Okay? You can directly put here. ये मैंने आपको समझने के लिए किया है. So one max की जगह पे m डाला तो ये दो equations कैसे बनेंगे? अब हम हमें इन इन equations को one to कहेंगे. So we are going to put one by x is equal to m and one by y is equal to n in one and two. So what will happen? One by x की जगह पे इंडा है two m plus two by three n is equals to one by six ठीक है इसको मैं फिलहाल ऐसे ही छोड़ देता हूँ three three into one by x means three m plus two n is equals to zero three m plus two n is equals to zero call it equation number two यहाँ पे मैं slightly एक बात करने वाला हूँ Uh, 3 and 6 okay so the gcd greatest common divisor or we do it in different way we multiply the equation thrown by 6 why kyun hum aisa kar rahe hain 6 se kyun multiply kar rahe hain because we want to uh, we don't want this two fractions here okay ye do number nikalne ke liye hum aisa kar rahe hain so 6 into 2 6 to the 12 okay 6 par yahan yahan par agar aapne 6 se multiply kiya to kya hoga 3 to the 6 and 2 to the 4 so 4 m यहां से 6 से किया 6 6 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 
cancel it. So 12 m minus m will go minus 1 will go to that side will become plus 1. So 1 plus 1 2 m is equals to 2 by 12 means 1 by 6. In this way we got m and m. Now we will resubstitute the values. Here we have m ki jo value hai 1 by x and n ki value 1 by y wapas le lenge. So it will be m is equals to 1 by 6 and n is equal to minus 1 by 4. Now our m is 1 by x is equals to 1 by 6 and our y is our n is 1 by y is equals to minus 1 by 4. As the numerators are 1, 1, 1, 1, taking the reciprocal, we get x is equals to 6 and y is equals to minus 4 in this way. In this way, here the question ends. Okay, write down that question. Okay, students, so this is the new type of problem. Yeah, as you can see, the denominators are x, y, and the denominator, the fraction which is present on the right hand side. Right hand side, which fraction is, uska denominator hai x into y. Now, whenever this type of question comes, what will be our strategy? Hamari strategy kya honi chahiye? Kaise proceed karna? So, whenever you see this type of problem, <coughs> what you have to do is, you have to multiply each and every term of every question by x, y. You have to multiply. And let us see what happens. What we are going to do is simply number them 1, 2 and multiply. We will write down both the equations 1 and 2 by x into y. Okay, so directly the result will come. I will show you actually multiply it and show you how it works. So, 148 upon x into xy plus 231 upon y into xy. So, 527 upon y. The like next last term. This will be multiplied by xy. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. 3 down. 1, 2, 3. 3 no down ko multiply kiya. Now what you are going to do? Simply, jo jo cancel hoda, usse cancel kar di jiye. Jo milega ko dekha, kya milta hai? X, X, gaya. Y, Y, gaya. Dono khatam. What remains? 148 Y. Okay, I will write down the X term first. 231 X. Plus 148 Y. Is equals to? Dono chale gaya. Kuch bhi nahi bacha. 527. Call it equation number 3. Same cheese on it. Equation number 2. Ke saad. Let us see. 231 upon x into xy. 148 upon y into xy. 610 upon xy into xy. 8 do 13. 8 do 13. You know what you multiply kar diya? x into y. So let us see what happened. Simply x x will get cancelled, y y will get cancelled, both will get cancelled and what remains? I will take the x term for the first time. It is not necessary to write the first time, but you have a habit. y plus x ki bajaye, aap x plus y se zyada familiar hai. Is liye apan lik rahe ho. Okay. So 231 into y. Okay. 148. <coughs> 148 x plus 231 y is equals to 610. This is the fourth equation. Now, you guys got equation 3 and 4. Now, you have to see, you have to examine karna bade ka, thoda dekhna bade ka. Equation 3 or 4 kya hai? Aur jab aap isko closely observe karenge, to aapko dikhe ka number bale ho, bade bade ho. Legin, they are the alternate coefficients. Alternate any 231, 148, 148, 231. So simply, पीछे के प्रॉब्लम में इसके अभी पिछला जो प्रॉब्लम है उसमें हमने सेम थिंग किया है क्या किया है एक बार ऐड एक बार सबट्रैक्ट सो जस्ट इक्वेशन 3 प्लस इक्वेशन 4 ऐड देम ओके शुड बी डायरेक्टली ऐड देम ओके सेम ये जो दो इक्वेशन है इनको हम Directly, I will write the answer here. After adding, what will happen? So, 8 plus 1, 9. Okay. 
4 plus 3 is 7 and 2 and plus 1 3. So it will be 379 x and of course it is 379 y is equals to you got 7, you got 3, you got 5 plus 5 10 plus 1 11. Okay. If I'm not wrong, 379 into 3 will be 1137. Yani, agar her term ko 379, 379, 379 से divide किया तो answer क्या आएगा? यहाँ पे दोनों cancel हो जाएंगे x, यहाँ पे दोनों cancel हो जाएंगे y और 1137 को जब आप 379 से divide करेंगे तो आपका answer आएगा 3. In this way you have 1, 2, 3, 4. You got equation number 5. In this way. But how do you get equation 5? By adding 3 and 4. Now to get equation 6, what we have to do? Kya karna padega? 3 minus 4. Equation 3 minus equation 4. So, 231 minus 148. 231 minus 148. So, the plus You got 83. Okay. So, 231x minus 148, you got minus 83x, uh, 148 minus 231 minus, oh, sorry, 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 231, bade me se chota gaya 83, chote me se bada gaya minus 83y, or 527 me se, uh, 527 me se, what is that, 610 me se, 527 gone, you got 3 and 8. यहाँ पे भी आपको मिल गया 83 बड़े में से छोटा निकाला है इसलिए minus 83 okay let me write down this yeah यहाँ पे तो सीधा सीधा दिख रहा है simply we are going to divide it by 83 and what we are going to get लिखना नहीं है कि हम 83 से divide करें that is the assumed step ये assumed किया है हमने okay so 83 83 83 just x minus y is equal to 83 by 83 minus so in this we got 5 and 6. Now simply just add them. X, X plus 1 minus 1 gone. 3 and minus 1 is equal to. So okay. 3 and minus 1, 2. X is equal to 1. Put X is equal to 1 in 5. X plus Y. You got 1 plus Y is equal to is equals to 3, y is equals to 3 minus 1, 2. So x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2. In this way we are solved. So easy it is. Okay? Write down that.